Okay, latest update. So I ordered the uh, three blade mock for uh, hub and blade from M1. It's got it in today. Um, have really good winds. Um, still dirty air, right? So at least my testing is consistent. Um, and I got to tell you, uh, as soon as I took off the, um, let's see, I had the nine blade um, and hub on there. I pulled that off and put on this three blade and I immediately noticed better results. Um, walking from uh, my temporary tower um, into the house, immediately noticed a difference. So uh, the numbers don't jump up and down uh, as far as amps uh, like they did uh, before. So that's good news. Um, I still haven't had you know like a lot of heavy, heavy wind and I know it's dirty air, but you know dirty air to dirty air, the old blades to the new. Uh, the Mach 4 seemed to uh, be very consistent. So I'm going to flip on around here for just a second and I will zoom in. There we go. So you can see, remember, this is the note, right? The caveat, my wind sensors are not right where my turbine's at, my PMA. So just use that as a guide to tell that the wind may be blowing harder or maybe blowing less, but it's not a one-for-one -one ratio. But I'll tell you that even just as we sit here and kind of talk, the numbers are much higher than what they were all day today uh, with the uh, nine blade uh, on there. So the Falcons, I think, is what I had on there. So uh, just kind of sit here and watch the numbers for a minute. We'll see what kind of wins we get. Uh, if you look in the top left-hand corner, the box on the top, you can see it says nine, eight. That's the wind speed currently outside. and. Uh, there you go. Now we're up to 17, so it's gusting back and forth. But uh, yeah, I got to tell you, the I'm I'm seeing much better results out of these blades, the Mach fours, than I did out of the Falcons. So I'll just let it run for a minute. I zoom way in on the top. I'll try to do this without making everybody dizzy. Let's see if I can get this to work. Okay. There we go. If you look, you can see the graph on the bottom, which kind of shows the winds for today. So we were low, and uh, you know we just been climbing, climbing, climbing all day long. So we could be on the downside again. I, you know, I think our winds are going to maintain for a while because uh, we have a storm coming in, uh, thunderstorms. So I think we'll probably kind of remain where we're at. Uh, I've seen it in the last 15 or 20 minutes. You know, like I said, it depends on where the wind's blowing and the angle uh, on that temporary pole that I have. But um, I was running 12 amps earlier, um, you know, just for a few minutes. But it's pretty consistent. That's, that's one thing that I've noticed is that immediately it smoothed out. Uh, with the Falcon Blades, I would go up, uh, I may peak out at 11, 12, 20 amps, whatever, but immediately I'd come right back down. And with, with these uh, Mach 4 Blades, it seems like um, it's a lot more consistent. It could be the weight, three blades, more surface area, I don't know, we'll figure all that out in time, right? So something I added, I'll just go ahead and throw this in here, zoom out for a second. So I added another meter over here, and that is specifically what is coming off my turbine. That's no batteries, that's, that is just what's coming off my turbine right now. That little white device in the front on the stand is a, uh, that's a uh, wireless camera. So I can use my uh, droid and uh, be at work or wherever I want to go and kind of look and see how we're performing at that moment in time, real-time video. Ultimately, the goal is to uh, give everyone access that anybody that wants to look at the whole data uh, at current wind speeds um, through my Davis Vantage View, I'll have that data on the internet uh, and you can put into a window side by side and see 
uh, what the real-time winds are uh, within a minute and you can also see uh, the real-time as in real-time video of, uh, of the turbine output so it's nothing major right we're not seeing like we do it on anywhere else on YouTube where we're pulling you know 40 amps but it is absolutely an improvement over where I've been uh, I'm still just days away from having my 50 foot tower up um, hoping for great things when that happens hope is not a strategy but that's where we're at right now so I'm gonna pan back around so you can see the wind speeds again There we go. I'll just leave it there for a half a second. So one more time, the caveat is that the wind speed sensors are not directly next to or close to where the PMA is at. So that can be a little misleading. Um, I get it. That's why I keep putting that, I throw that caveat out there. But um, the results, dirty air, dirty air um, with the new Mach 4s, they seem to be performing better. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Post away.